So guys, today I'm going to be talking about the difference between Celtic discos and Irish teenage discos. So, if you're watching this video, you're probably going to the Gaeltacht, you have probably been to an Irish disco, and tonight is JC night, so I figured I'd just... Anyway, in this uh, video, I'm going to be talking about the difference between Gaeltacht discos and regular Irish teenage discos. So let's get straight into it. In some Irish uh, Gaeltachts, you're not allowed... Ugh. In some Gaeltachts, you're not allowed to wear fake tan. Now, fake tan is everywhere in normal Irish discos. It's the first smell that hits you when you come in the door, for God's sake. So, when it's not there in the Gaeltacht, it's almost a little weird. But, you know, I kind of hate the smell of fake tan, so, you know, it might work. Uh, but in Lurgan, it's not banned, so if you're about to start screaming, going, oh my god, I've packed three cans of fake tan, don't worry about it, in Lurgan, you're allowed fake tan. But in other games, I can't remember the name of them because I just heard about them, uh, you're not actually allowed to wear fake tan. So that's one big difference between regular discos and Gaeltic discos. Another one, in most teen discos you go to, you won't know most of the people there. Because obviously, it's people just coming from all over to one disco. But in Gaeltic discos, you have spent the last usually a week with the people that are there, so you have an idea of who most of the people there are, or who they're friends with and stuff like that, and then, you know, when you end up, like, getting with someone, you tend to know them better, so there's less of, like, the will you shift my friend type of stuff out there in the Gale Tucked, because obviously it would be mortifying because you then have to look at them the next day. So, whereas that is always there in normal teen discos. Another one is the location. Uh, in Lurgan, it's in like a blacked out tent, which is, well, it's not really a tent, but you know, you go there, you'll see, and um, yeah. But it is basically like a tent room hybrid, but at least it's dark, and they have like a couple of bleachers up where you can sit down. Uh, in some, they have them just in bright halls, and in one of the Sploder ones, I think it is, or in Ishgar, or somewhere like that, it's in an old church where they can't pull down the windows because people will think that someone has died if the blinds are down. So, it'll be brightly lit and you're in a church. So, just be aware, the situations can be a little weird with where the discos are on. Obviously, in teen discos, it's usually a blacked out, like, community hall, or it will be in a nightclub or something like that. So the kind of location is usually better at teen discos. Another massive difference is the age range. At Irish teen discos, it is usually like a specific age range for people who go. It's like 15 to 16. So you go in and you know that you're mainly surrounded by people your age. There's always the couple of like, weird older people who come in and the younger ones who pass through, but it's majorly just the people that are your age. Whereas in the Gaeltacht, it's like from 12 to 18. There is a massive, massive age gap. Another one is the music. In the Gaeltacht, they can't play any English music, so they end up just playing a bunch of Russian techno, Lurgan remixes, and other stuff like that. So... They're, the music isn't as good, I guess, but the thing is, you're so used to not listening to English music, well, in Lurgan anyways, because they're constantly playing, like, that techno and the um, Lurgan remixes to the speakers in the hall throughout the day, that you're actually used to the songs, so they're kind of, like, low-key good when you're out there, um, and you're kind of ready for them for the discos. Whereas, obviously, at normal discos, you play the chart stuff, and you play uh, all of the usual ones, and everyone kind of knows them. So, that's one big difference, like, the music is better at teen discos, but you won't notice the difference when you're in the Gale Tucked. So, kind of balances out, I guess. What is that? And 
one massive difference, and this is the last one now, is the day after. The day after a normal disco, you'd kind of just be texting your friends, you might have stayed over at theirs and you're kind of chatting about it, and you kind of get to know a little bit of what went on. In the Gale Tuck, the day after, you're all brought into the hall, so that you can be split into your classes and activities and stuff. So, anything that happened is being shared from person to person to person, and everyone knows what happened at that disco last night. Because everyone is closer out there, so the gossip just spreads. It doesn't spread as easily in usual discos. In the Gale Church, it spreads like wildfire. So, anything that goes on, it's public information about an hour into Saturday morning. So, you know, that's a massive difference. Regardless, the discos are great crack, so if you're going to JC Night tonight, I hope you have a great night. And if you're going to the Gale Tucked, I hope that you enjoy the discos out there. Um, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. And I'm dropping my eclectic EP on Sunday, so just stay tuned for that. And yeah, have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next video.